so in this episode i want to build a frog light farm and to do that i need frogs i have everything in my inventory that we're going to need um some buckets to catch the tattles and some slime balls and then some leads but we need to go find some frogs so let's go this way because i think i saw some over here at one point i just gotta remember where i think it was over here in this mangrove forest because I just need to trap some frogs and breed them with all those slime balls. But if I remember right, yes, there we go. All right, you two come with me. Come this way, guys. Okay, the real question is, can I get him back to my house? Shouldn't be that bad. All right, now that I'm back at the house and I have these guys um, chained up to this, all I need to do is take my slime balls and breed them. And then wait for them to lay the eggs in the water. Oh, there we go. All right, so we want to go back like this. Put you back on that pole, and then I'm going to take some of that sand and trap that in, so that way the tadpoles, once they spawn, can't get out. And then I just got to do this a bunch more times. Alright, well that thing finally hatched. We got four tad- five tadpoles in here, so this shouldn't be too bad actually, so... Let's grab all of these and just put them all into buckets. There we go, and one more. Sweet. So I already have five of them. I just need to get 18 in total. So I'm going to be here until we get this whole thing full. Now that I have a full shulker box of tadpoles, we need to go get on to the nether roof and figure out where the nearest uh, assault delta is. I think that's where we have to build this thing. And I have everything else we're going to need right here. So let me get all of these real quick. Um, Let's see. I think... I think I'm right. There should be a basalt delta over here somewhere. Alright, let's F3 real quick. Yep, and we have a basalt delta right here, right next to our entrance. So, let's put all of our stuff down. This is our tadpoles. We're gonna have to take that with us. And then, put all of our other chests down. And then let's put some torches around here so that way we know where it's at if we're flying around. So just one right here and one right here. The next step that we need to do is uh, breed all of our tadpoles into the colored frogs that we're going to want and um, bring them up here and get them ready so that way we don't have to mess with them later. Alright, so let's go through this portal. frogs up here and then we need to also find that plains biome which is right there so i need to grow nine frogs in this savannah biome right here and then nine frogs in this plain biome over there so that way these ones become the um the orange frogs and these ones become the white ones and then i'll have to find a cold biome and then fill this in just like this and then we can add a second layer of it sweet and then i'll put all my tadpoles in there and then i'm gonna build the same type of thing right here the second layer build those in so they can't jump out all right so now i just need to put all the tadpoles where they need to go Let's take nine and put them on to here. Sweet. 
sweet. And then take nine more of these. And put them in these water. And then I just gotta wait for them to grow up and then these ones should be... These ones should be the, the white frogs, I'm pretty sure. Or no, these ones will be the tempered frogs. So the orange ones and then those ones will be the white ones. So when these all grow up, I'll show you how we're gonna get them. Because the nether portal to the roof where the farm is gonna be is right there. So it shouldn't be that bad. Alright, now that I've got all the frogs, or all the tadpoles into frogs, and I have nine of the orange ones and nine of the white ones, I need to take them all through this portal, and then bring them back over to the, uh, well actually that's where I'm going to build the farm, so I just need to take them through the portal. So let's go try to go through the portal real quick. Alright, come on guys. You two need to go through the portal. There we go. And you come this way. Get out of the portal. There we go. And then hopefully I have nine. Let's put them down right here. on all the froggies come here and then let's make sure we have all nine real quick seven eight nine sweet and then we'll put you over here with your friends all right so now i just need to get the green frogs and i need to find a cold biome to do that all right i found a cold biome and i already got another portal set up to go to the roof so now i just need to get my buckets of water and go like this and then i was reading something that says if you give them slime balls they grow up faster so Maybe it'll just be a little bit quicker because I just gave him a ton. So maybe that'll help. But uh, I'll be back once I have all nine of the green frogs that I'm going to need. We got all of the frogs. So now let's do that and grab them all. They move so funny. All right, sweet. Now we have all three of the frog types. So let's put them on a thing. Sweet. We got the hardest part of the farm done, getting all the frogs. Now I just need to build it up and then put the frogs in there. So, all right. So we're going to build the farm. The frogs are over there. We're going to build the farm right here. The first thing that we need to do is go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and then make all these double chests and then take some hoppers and go into the back of all these and we're gonna make oops boom and then we're gonna take more chests and put them on top of the hoppers we're gonna do this three levels all right and then once we got the three layers of chests like this with the hoppers going in between them we need to go up here and place a, another row of hoppers facing down onto the chests. And then we need a temporary block and then get rid of this. And a row of blocks right here. Just like that. And then I need to come one, two, three, four five six seven eight so i can make a nine by nine platform just like that and then we need to add another row of blocks back here like so and then i need to get my powered rails out to one two three we don't want them to connect Oh. 
All right, so you're gonna do three power drills, three regular drills, and then three more power drills, just like that. Now that we have all the reels in place like this, we need to go along and put hopper minecarts on all of the reels. Come right here and put a row. And then come right here and put a row. And then flick all of these so we can power the power drills. And do the same on this side. Alright, and now that that is super loud and annoying, those need to go on top of these blocks like this. All the way across. And then I just need to fill this in. Alright, and then unfortunately my OBS just decided it wasn't going to record for like the next 30 minutes, so I lost a bunch of footage, but here's a screenshot of what the farm looks like. Basically I just finished that stone brick platform and then put the five layer glass wall that you see in there and then put the frogs in there and then put the powdered snow level one layer above the frogs. And then next thing that I needed to do was build this platform that you're gonna see in a few super fast time lapse. All right, now that I've got the spawning platform built, or the first one, I need to uh, come to the middle right here and go out to the exact middle of this. So, one, two, three, four, five, yep, and then place one block up. Get rid of that. Need to place one, two, three, four, just like that, and go like this. And then do the same on this side, just like that, and then put four in the corners, just like that, and then get rid of that. And then I need to one, two, three, four, and five. And come out like this. And then I need to make a iron golem. So just like this. Get rid of the dirt block. And then grab his pumpkin head. Go like that, let him fall down in there. Oh, we didn't want to destroy that block, but that's fine. Because I can just go like this. And then get rid of that block, get rid of this one. And then grab a stone block and put it right above his head just like that. And then get rid of that temporary block. And then come here and get rid of these temporary blocks and these two blocks as well. And then I need to go on the outside of this with my glass. Let me get my boxes real quick. Make a three high wall glass around the entire outside. All right, and now that I've got the glass wall built around the first layer, I just need to do one more layer the exact same way right above it. Now that I have the second layer built up, I need to make sure that ghast can't spawn in this. So in the middle, we are going to go like this and run a strip of glass. We need to get rid of this block. And then now that I've got that strip of glass, I need to count one, two, and then, oops. And then get rid of these blocks. And then just continue that all the way across. Now that I've got 
everything built up and then I've got the gas the pieces of glass on the top of it like this with two spaces between it so gas can't spawn I need to make an AFK platform so we need to go all the way up to Y level 250 all right and now that I'm standing on Y level 250 I just need to edge myself over a little bit and then make a uh, AFK platform up here just like this and we're just gonna expand it by a couple just so it's a little bit bigger and easier to land on and then we can get rid of that and then I'm gonna put a couple torches down here just for extra safety and so it's easier to see and then I'm gonna come down here get rid of all this scaffolding Just as easy as that. Stand right here so I can try to collect as much as possible. It shouldn't just fall into the chest though. And I messed it up. And now I'm gonna have to... Can I not fly in this stuff? to fix this later but farm should be complete now which is good I just need to go get another altered thing so I'm gonna go do that real quick and then we're gonna do an AFK session probably like 30 minutes just to see how well the farm works so I'm gonna fix that and then I'll start the AFK time lapse been 30 minutes the frogs are just eating up the last of their magma cubes so i'm gonna take all the stuff out and put it all into like separate chests and uh figure out how much of each light we got and how much magma not magma yeah magma cream we got as well all right well we got a lot more frog lights than i'll probably ever need because we have a full shulker box of each type of the light <laughs> And then we also have this just for the uh, pearlescent ones, which is the one that I like the most because it's like purple. With the little purple accents, and then you can also like do it sideways and stuff like that. I think it's my favorite one out of the three. Um, and then we also have this, and then well, how many ever magma cubes that is. Not magma cubes, uh, magma cream. So I think... I think, to be honest with you, this was a little overkill for what I'll be using these for, but I am super happy now that we have these. I won't have to use torches ever again, pretty much. I can just use these and then come back here for an hour and get this much. So if you guys want to build this farm, I'll leave it in the description. Um, it's a pretty good tutorial, easy to follow. But uh, if you guys like the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace out.